Hey, Steve Macwell. Oh, hey, I saw your video, and I'm going to give you exactly what you want because you're clout chasing. First of all, I'm not arguing or going back and forth with a nigga that can't pronounce his words that he learned in first grade. Music? What the fuck is music? Can you spell that word for me? I didn't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think you can. Can you? No, I don't think you can. Spell that for me. Spell the word Mersey. You didn't even comprehend my video. That's why I don't argue with goofy motherfuckers, slow motherfuckers like you. You can tell you slow in the head. You can tell you real slow. You didn't even comprehend what I said. I never said today's music ain't trash. What I said was each generation thinks that the next generation music is trash. And when you when you say that, you sound like your parents. You sound old as shit. You sound old and bitter. Like you. <laughs> like you. You are a prime example of the old bitterness that I'm talking about. What did your parents say about the music of your generation? Don't worry, I'll wait. Nine times out of ten, the same thing that you're saying about today's music. And then you say all they do is talking about killing and this, that, and the third. This shit started in your era. Weren't you part of the 90s? Late 80s, early 90s? Didn't that shit start in the late 80s, early 90s? Gangster rap? I'm pretty sure it did. It started in your era. You fucking hypocrite. Fuck you too, old head. <laughs> Fuck you too, you butter. You should be careful before I start digging in your life and putting your shit on the internet. You said get off young feral dick. How about you get off my dick? Because you were so butthurt that you made a video about it. I go at feral because he scammed the black community. You going at me because you butthurt about music. Who sounds more goofy? That's what I thought. Sit your old, head ass, sit your old ass down, old head. For you hurt yourself. For you hurt yourself. You heard, This ain't what you want. I'm giving you fair warning. This ain't what you want. Fuck you too. You butt hurt and you're mad. You butt hurt and you're mad. I'm not arguing with a nigga that can't pronounce his words. Words that we learn in kindergarten, first and second grade. You're too old for that shit. You're too old to be saying music. Sit your goofy ass down. You're clout chasing. You just want attention. <laughs> Me and my brothers laughed at you, bro. You, you you thought you was going to get under my skin with that too, didn't you? I do this professionally. I do this professionally. And I'm not arguing with somebody. This is going to be my last video too. Because I'm not going to argue with somebody who can't even comprehend what I'm saying. Let alone pronounce his words. You look like you in your 40s, 50s, maybe 60s. You too old for that. You way too old for that. You, so let me get this straight. You're a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> you're a clout chaser. And you're a bitter old man. That's all it is. You're a bitter old man. So I'm going to give you this final warning. Shut the fuck up. Mind your fucking business because I wasn't even. But yeah, well, I kind of was. But shut the fuck up, old head. This ain't your lane. This ain't your lane. I'm giving you fair warning. Shut the fuck up before I start digging in your life and putting your business on the internet. How would you like that, old head? Shut the fuck up. This message ain't for everybody. But if the shoe fits, you better put that motherfucker on and walk it off. And always remember, Steve, your old ass better be careful, little buddy.